Hello students, thank you for joining me. My name is Mark, I'm a CPA and Chegg tutor. And right now I wanna to talk to you about the payback period. All right, so what is the payback period? Well, it is a valuation method similar to net present value or IRR uh, that can be used by managers or executives to determine whether they want to undertake an investment, whether it's gonna be worth their money uh, in time. Uh, all right, so how is it used? Well, uh, there's, there's two different ways that you can use the payback period. One's easier than the other, uh, but you can only use the easy way sometimes. You can use the easy way when you have even cash flows. That means that uh, there's going to be an example where you make an investment, and that investment is going to pay back uh, an equal amount every period. Usually it's going to be years, so we'll say years. It's going to be an equal amount every year, for instance, uh, if you make an $80,000 investment, that investment is going to pay $20,000 every year for the next six or seven years. So you get $20,000 every year. That's an even cash flow. In that case, you can use a simple formula, which is over here, which is going to be your initial investment divided by the cash inflow per period. And like we just said, that's usually years, but it could be days or weeks or something like that, uh, depending on what you're trying to figure out. Um, so if you made a $100,000 investment, you bought a piece of equipment for $100,000, that's going to be your initial investment. And that's going to go in your numerator here. Uh, and we'll say that $100,000 piece of equipment is going to produce items that are going to um, supply you with $20,000 cash flows every year. So you'll get $100,000 initial investment divided by $20,000 per year, that's going to get you to five years, right? And that's what's going to be your payback period. It's a length in time, five years, that it takes to uh, recoup the costs of your initial investment. So that's, okay, so that's not, uh, that's not too hard. It gets a little bit more difficult, though, when you don't have the same uh, cash flow every year. So we just said you get, maybe you get $20,000 every year, but what if you have uh, an instance where in the first year you're going to make twenty thousand dollars, the second year you're going to make ten, uh, and the third year, forty, an arbitrary number amount uh, each year, not the same amount every year. Well, in that case, you have to put in a little bit more work, right? So I put an example here uh, of uneven cash flows. So we'll say the initial investment cost a hundred thousand dollars. Year one you got twenty, ten, forty, fifty, then fifty again. All right, well, what you would want to do is you want to make a kind of breakdown of your cumulative cash flow over those years. So in the first year, or well, before anything starts, you make an investment of $100,000. Year one, you make $20,000. So now your cumulative cash flow is 80. The 100 you invested minus the 20 you made back. Year two, you make another 10, so your cumulative cash flow is going to be 70, etc., etc. And you want to, you're going to find your uh, payback period, the year you get paid back entirely, whenever this negative cash flow becomes positive. So see here, you go from negative $30,000 $30, to $20,000. In year four, you're, gonna, uh, you're going to break even and then, and then some more, but that's going to be your payback period is four years. Uh, some professors might require you get a little more specific. Um, saying maybe when, when in year four. So this isn't going to be entirely four years. It's going to be 3.3 uh, 3 years or 3.25 years. I didn't do the math, but it's going to be something like that. So all you have to do is um, divide that $20,000 by the $100,000. That's one-fifth of a year. It's one-fifth. So you'll know that your payback period is 3.2 uh, years, three and a fifth. Okay. Um, so when is this used? Well, um, as you might have told, uh, as you might be able to tell, this is a little more simple than uh, net present value or IRR. It's just showing basically when you're going to recoup your costs. Um, so it's going to be used when you need a, a simpler, quicker, possibly cheaper way of determining um, the value of an investment. And it might be something that it's not even business executives. You might ask your friend this: um, you know, how how long is it going to take me to make my money back? four years. It's, it, can, it can be that simple. Um, it's also used when liquidity is important to a business. So 
a business doesn't always have enough money on hand to be spending constantly. Sometimes they want to know when are we going to have money to make the next big purchase um, so that they can plan out their business ahead of time. Um, it's, it differs from net present value and IRR in that it does not consider the time value of money at all, meaning uh, the $20,000 in year one uh, is going to be the same as $20,000 five years from now. They don't, they don't value money in the present any more than they do uh, money in the future. Um, so that's about it, actually. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. I'd be happy to help. Um, if not, thank you very much for watching. I hope you learned something. All right. Bye, guys.